Hi artists, today we're gonna to be making pictures of May bouquets. And our pictures are gonna show a beautiful bouquet of May flowers being held by a hand. And the hand is going to be a bit 3D. We're gonna actually curl the fingers so it kind of pops up and makes it look like the flowers are actually being held in a hand. Let's get started. We're gonna start with the hand first. For the hand, you're gonna need a piece of paper and a pencil and your own hand so that you can trace your hand and part of your wrist. Now, if you have construction paper at home, you can use any color piece of construction paper you would like to. On my example one, I used orange. Now I'm gonna use pink. You can use any color you want to though. You can trace either hand. You can trace your left hand, you can trace your right hand. I happen to be a righty, so it's much easier for me to trace my left hand and use my right hand. You can position your hand any way you want. It can be like this, it can be at a diagonal. It's your choice. What I'm gonna do is I am going to start tracing my hand and then I'm going to cut it out. Now that we've cut out the hand, you're gonna need glue. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna be gluing our hand to the paper. And it's up to you what side you want the hand to come from. Maybe you want the hand to come from this side of the paper, the left side. Maybe you wanna flip the hand and have it come from the right side. It's really your choice. Just make sure that you line up the edge. I happen to have traced on the corner. It's possible that you didn't, but if you did, try to line up the corner. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up my glue stick, I'm gonna twist it up, and a little bit of glue goes a long way, but something you're gonna wanna make sure you do is you're gonna wanna make sure that you actually don't glue the fingers yet. We're gonna save that for the finale, we'll save that for the very last thing. So let me glue down the wrist and the palm of your hand. Do not put glue on the fingers. I flipped over my hand to put glue on it, I'm gonna flip it back over, and I'm gonna position it and I'm gonna press it flat with my fingers very gently. Now, after you've glued down your hand, you definitely should figure out how the fingers are going to bend down later. This is gonna be pretty tricky, but take all the fingers and kind of bend them down just a bit to see where you're gonna need to draw the bouquet. Now, I know the way I glued it, all my fingers are kind of curving inward and the bouquet is gonna have to kind of go the other way. So this picture is gonna be a little bit different than my first one. I'm gonna turn my paper and I know that the bouquet is gonna have to come out of here. Now, what you're gonna do next, and I'll kind of flatten out the fingers the best that I can for now. What you're gonna do next is you're gonna start drawing your flowers. You can draw any kind of flowers you want. One very popular way to draw a flower is to start with a circle shape and draw kind of like half oval shapes or almost oval shapes. And this is kind of like a daisy. So maybe I have a flower that looks like this. You can draw it all the same kind of flower. You can draw different kinds of flowers too. Maybe I wanna draw a flower called a tulip. Tulips are really beautiful and they kind of look like a U shape with a zigzag line at the top. If you wanna add some more details to your flowers, feel free to do that as well. Like all flowers do have petals. Maybe I wanna add a little line over here and maybe some lines on 
my tulip just to make it look like it has a little bit more detail. Feel free to get really fancy with your flowers. Now there's a lot of different kinds of flowers. You can draw any kind of flowers you want. Maybe you want to draw a sunflower. Sunflowers have big centers and they have petals that are kind of triangular shapes, but a little bit more curvy. And I'm running into a little issue here. I drew these two flowers pretty close together, which is not a bad thing, but I have to problem solve. I have to make it look like one petal is on top and one petal is behind. That's called overlapping. So feel free to do that too. So I like to start in pencil first. I can kind of practice, see how it goes. You can draw any kind of flower you choose. Feel free to draw a flower more than once if you really like to. You can draw a lot of flowers. You can draw only three or four flowers like I'm doing. It's really up to you. After you're done drawing your flowers, you are ready to add some color. You can use any art supplies you have. You can use watercolor paint, you can use crayons, you can use markers. I happen to have some markers handy, so I'm gonna use some markers to color in my flowers. All right, now that I've colored in my flowers, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna make these flowers look like they're together in a bouquet so that this hand can hold it. What I'm gonna need is I'm gonna need an art supply. I do recommend starting in pencil first, but just so you guys can see it, I'm gonna start with a marker first. I'm gonna take a risk. I'm gonna use a green marker because what I wanna do is I wanna create stems. I want the stems to grow from the flowers down over the hand, and we're, all, we're gonna make it look like the fingers will clasp upon them a little bit later. That's gonna be the fun part. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my marker. You can use a marker if you're feeling brave. You can use a pencil first. I highly recommend using pencil first always. I'm gonna make a stem that goes over the hand. I'm gonna do that over here for my tulip as well. And I'm gonna make them look like they're connected. So if you notice, I just drew this stem pretty close to the other stem. Now things are gonna get tricky. What I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to kind of imagine, hmm, how can I get all my flowers to look like they are in one bouquet together? So I'm gonna have to use some strategy. I just bent down the fingers a little bit just to see where I'm gonna need to make this sunflower attach. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to kind of curve the stem a little bit. And I'm gonna curve the stem the best that I can. I'm gonna attach it, and it's okay to overlap. I'm gonna overlap this stem with the other stems that I drew. You're gonna need to do that. All right, now this blue one is really tricky. This blue stem, I'm gonna have to do a lot of overlapping. I'm gonna start the stem right here, but I don't wanna draw on top of this pink petaled flower. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna overlap it. I'm gonna make it go behind, come out right over here, and I'll do the same thing. I'm gonna attach the stems together. Now comes the fun part. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my glue stick. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on each of the fingers just a little bit, a little bit goes a long way. Whoops, I'm using a lot, that's okay. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bend the fingers down and I'm gonna press them so they stay. I'm not bending the whole finger, I'm just taking the tip of the finger, whoops, and I am pressing it. And you might have to count to three, one, two, three, so that you know that it sticks. You have to be a little bit patient. One, two, three. This is the pinky. One, two, three. All right, and then I'm gonna do the thumb and I'm gonna overlap the thumb with the other fingers. Perfect. Now that I've bent down the fingers, I can add some more details. Stems often have leaves, so feel free to add some leaves to your flowers and feel free to be creative with this. Maybe you wanna use, whoops, <laughs> Maybe you want to add more than one shade of green. Stems in real life come in different shades of green, so feel free to be very creative. Maybe I even want to do a little leaf down here. 
feel free to decorate the hand as well. Maybe you would like to draw some fingernails. Maybe this person has painted nails and you'd like to use a coloring supply to add color. Maybe the person is wearing a bracelet or a watch. It's really up to you what your details look like. And this finger doesn't want to stay down. One, two, three, hopefully that'll do the trick. You can add things in the background. You can write messages. I hope you have so much fun creating your bouquets and I can't wait to see how they come out. Have fun.